If you've already come across the quest following the thread, you might have heard the name Aiden, Lambert's mysterious friend who had been murdered, something Lambert is, of course, greatly upset about. But sure, why should we be interested in a guy whose face we would never see because he is, well, dead? I had a friend. Aiden was his name. You had a friend. Oh, he fucking hilarious. Plainly said, Lambert doesn't do friends. As the youngest of the remaining wolf witchers, he is the one who had the least time to adjust to his life as a monster killer. Also, his past before witchers hadn't been very bright either. It is a known fact that his abusive father had been once saved by a witcher, and as a payment for the deed, the witcher had taken Lambert with him and changed his life forever. Lambert is a good man deep inside, but what he frequently shows on the outside is his bitter, cynical self. Tell me, you always been such a cynical bastard. No, I was adorable before Vesemir brought me to Kaer Morhen. It's hard to imagine him opening up to any kind of a close relationship with another person. But here we have Aiden, a cat witcher, who we really don't know much about. Perhaps aside from Lambert mentioning that Aiden isn't like others from his school, meaning an assassin for hire, but rather a decent man. In Lambert's words, Hands down the best man I'd ever met. I mean, I like you, you know that. Still, no comparison. No surprise that Geralt is quite shocked. What is so special about Aiden? At this point, we can only make assumptions about the man's character. Considering he didn't turn an assassin, he probably had some kind of a moral code, so something Lambert is familiar with considering he frequently winters with these guys. Cat witchers are also known to be quick, lithe, and not relying so much on their strength as on their acrobatic skills. Having two fighters with completely different fighting styles covering each other's backs seems like a good enough combination. Besides that, cats are also more emotional since their mutations work differently than with other schools. More emotions, however mean, they aren't always quite right in their mind. Are you saying that putting together a grumpy wolf and a crazy cat is a bad idea? Well, not necessarily. It's not so hard to see how the two of them could balance each other's qualities as well as weaknesses. Opposites attract each other, right? Writers on AO3 could surely tell you something about it. Let's take it from the beginning and unfold Aiden and Lambert's story step by step. From Lambert's own retelling, the two of them met in a lander. While Aiden was hired to kill the ogre there, Lambert was hired by another person to lift the curse from the said ogre. However, after the ogre killed Lambert's employer, the two of them decided to work together and split the reward. After that, we worked together a lot. Somewhere from that point onward, they became very good friends and decided to stick together for more contracts. We don't know for how long they stayed on the path together or when exactly they decided to split. But during their time apart, Aiden took a contract to lift a curse of a duke's daughter. And that was the beginning of the end for our cat witcher. It was a political mess from the start. Then there was hatred for the school of the cat to deal with. Needless to say, the mission didn't go well and Aiden was eventually killed by a group of debt collectors led by a man called Caradin, who had asked for his swords when discovering Aiden hadn't been in a possession of his reward anymore. Caradin and his merry band of assassins were to expect Lambert's revenge for his dear friend's life. As the mission goes forward, you ultimately stand in front of a very difficult choice. You discover that Caradin is also a witcher from the cat school although at the moment happily living as a merchant with a wife and children he took in. What's more, it seems that Caradin has changed and he genuinely regrets his past sins. Giving a player more doubt about how to deal with him, he also retells the story from his own perspective. Contrary to rumor, we did not set out to kill him. We were forced to when he attacked us. What's your version of this story? He took the coin, bungled the job, then left. Once the girl passed on. You lie. Where exactly is the truth, we don't know. Somehow, I personally wouldn't want to believe that Aiden bungled the job because he was careless. Perhaps the truth remains somewhere in the middle. It's a more believable story that the curse just couldn't be lifted or it would cost Aiden his life to do so. And so there was no way out but to let the girl die or kill her. It wouldn't be the first time something like that occurred. Still, dealing with the situation one way or another required Aiden to get paid. It's also very unlikely that he would get paid beforehand, so that means the Duke had to know what had happened to his daughter when he paid Aiden off. 
Those are of course only speculations, so whether you kill Caradin or not is entirely up to you and your own interpretation of what exactly had transpired. I personally couldn't help myself and let the guy be, which of course wasn't something Lambert could deal easily with. I feel like beating the shit out of you. Ouch. All in all, I guess I wouldn't be the only one who would really love to see Lambert interact with someone he is truly fond of. What kind of a relationship would it be? If you'd like to share your ideas, let me know in the comments.